This there, that's my office. So this video is a flashback about two and a half years ago, living in a small London flat with two kids during pandemic and having a full scale sitting and standing workspace. Let's check it out and see what you think. I want to sit down and talk a little bit more about, about this space here. I really wanted to have a full on workstation and uh, it's difficult to have it in place with a tight one. But we had this place which is a little nook and within the nook I decided, okay, I can definitely put my desktop. The big thing was whether the desktop could actually fit in there. And when I realized that it actually does fit, I was like, okay, if that fits, the screens fit, I can probably make this work somehow and design with a bunch of different components all the elements that I need to make a pretty sweet desk. So how did I do this? I put a bunch of custom shelves and on the shelves I put some arms. So they're monitor arms but I use them both for monitors and also for this keyboard here which is also using one of those. The monitor arms are attached to those shelves and one is attached to one shelf that's actually pre-built. And then because everything is movable and the most constraining thing is this, I just slide it back. Now the desktop fits nicely, it's it's snug, but there is still a little bit of room on either side. It sits on its side, so the nice thing is if I need to clean up something or I have a cable in my desktop that goes loose every once in a while, I can just unscrew it directly. This is also my power station, so I have all my power cables plugged in for lights for batteries that are recharged for all kinds of things really so it works pretty well i do wish i had a bit more space where i can lay out a full workstation and use the same table surface for sketching and for drawing and for putting some other devices but for now i have my kitchen island which is where this camera is resting at the moment which serves for that purpose but what i want to say is no matter what your budget is and no matter how tight of a space you live in, you can definitely go the extra mile and make that space especially yours. I mean, as an architect, I've been told to design everything. So that definitely includes things like stands. You know, I've designed my laptop stands, my monitor stands, designing workstations, designing my computer, actually, this is a pre built desktop. I actually find small spaces really useful to work with because they make you think twice as much about how to organize it in a way that makes sense. A little nook for my computer is actually no different than designing a house. There's two design requirements in this case for a monitor, for a keyboard, for a desktop and then for power. So that's instead of people we have elements and they still need to be attached some way and live in there. It's simple but it's effective. So how do I use this desk? I use it for a couple of different ways. I sketch. I, this is where I do my hardcore video. This is where I do my intense modeling and rendering because it's the only computer that I have a hold of that can handle that. I also do voiceovers for tutorials. So this is where I record my tutorials. It's much better to have a desktop because the laptops, you can hear the fans when the microphone is working, whereas this is... Do you hear that? I can't do recordings with this fan on. No way. I made sure I have pretty nice fans so we can hear them at all times, so it works really well. I have a series of microphones, I use a dynamic mic to record tutorials because I'm in my kitchen, the fridge goes off sometimes, people, and you can hear the neighbors sometimes, you can hear my kids sometimes, so it's tricky. I usually have all kinds of accessories laying around when I want to record something else. This arm, so I looked specifically for an arm that can go to 90 degrees because not all arms can go completely horizontal and the descriptions are kind of muddy. So if you're thinking about using a monitor arm, then it's quite important to, to find the right one. So I've also designed this to be both a sitting and a standing desk. So let me demonstrate. Right now it's in standing position. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to put the microphone away. So this is standing position. And if I'm sitting down, I can bring this. I can bring this down. And I can also bring this here. A bit of a full house, you know. Yeah. 
and now I have a seated desk. I'm sitting on a stool, so it's, it doesn't go the full height of a stand or sit, but these arms, they do allow for a bit of movement. And if you adjust the tension to just the right element, it feels very sturdy for a keyboard or for a light laptop. For a heavier laptop, you can adjust the tension and make this better. Also for laptops, if you don't want to go and make your own, uh, even though it's very simple, it's just four holes really into like a piece of plywood. You can also get a proper laptop stand. I did look about keyboard trays, but they didn't have one that fits exactly where I needed it to. And the sizes were a little bit strange in regards to the space that I was dealing with. So I just ordered this online because I don't have the capacity at home to cut board, but it's simple. I think it costs like $10 or pounds or something like that. Not very expensive. And yeah, you can find services like that online in case you don't have the tools or the equipment or the access to them as well. So the desktop is near the bottom with the power equipment. I've run all the cables on the side. Then we have the monitor arm for the keyboard sitting on the first shelf, plus a lot of power adapters for all kinds of things. I, this is my power charging station for... This is my power charging station for home, so I keep everything in here. And then we have another tray where I've attached this monitor stand here. And this, the other monitor is actually attached to a different place. Uh, it's attached to one of the pre-made shelves. It's tight. I mean, it's really tight, but it works. It's so much better than having it out because before that, I wish I had a photo. I was looking for one, but I couldn't find one. Well, I just had this with the cables and everything laying out in the middle of our kitchen. It's, it's not nice. If you can put it away, then make your space better. You'll feel better. I feel better when I have this kind of space around. Uh, yeah, so I can attach all kinds of things on here, you know. I have like cable, these monitor arms, they have USB cables as well. So I don't need to access all my things down, even though they're quite accessible on the way that the computer is standing or the USB ports in the back. Uh, if I want to, I, I run USB cables to the monitor arm base, which is higher, and then I plug things in there. I tend to be using a lot of mice or keyboards depending on the computer configuration I have. So all of these sort of slide in there as well. And then I also have these shelves, which are useful for having things like this drawing pad, for example. It's a bit, it's a bit dusty. Uh, but it, it still works, you know, because the, the space is limited of what it had, what I can fit underneath. I was thinking of designing two shelves or a pull out from here, but I needed to cut the metal bits for finding that. No. So my passport is just a, it's a really nice sketchbook that I can put in my pocket. And a really old mouse pad, but I still find it the best one. So in case you guys are wondering, this video was recorded a long time ago. We have moved on since then and uh, this is my new workspace. It is a proper room that I have everything, including a nice workstation, which I'm sure I'm going to do a video on at some point, hopefully before we move again. I've wanted to put that on for a long time because I was really proud of that. It's really nice to be able to fit a workstation in a nuke. And I think, again, I said that before, but it is quite important to try to customize everything in order to work the best for you. Ergonomics are super important. So being able to sit well while you work short hours, long hours, who works short hours these days? I don't know, unless the kids pull you away. So we have to make sure that we have good position. Otherwise, all kinds of health problems start to arise. So customize everything, especially your workplace.
My name is Demeter. I do videos about all kinds of things related to architecture and design, including architecture critiques, architecture technology, video tutorials, Blender tutorials, 3D, you name it. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and check it out and see you guys next time.